My emphasis centers on self-regulation, the paramount form of discipline. The supreme truth resonates within us. With my thoughts, I harness immense power, causing everything in my existence that seems dominant now to submit to the true force. Any semblances of reality contradicting this truth immediately evaporate before my gaze. I am the wellspring of power. The spirit within me exceeds any force in the universe. Divine energy resides within me, rendering me complete and whole. This completeness permeates every circumstance I encounter. I evoke the divine resonance within, aligning myself with the pure manifestation of my identity. Others may talk of truth as a religious concept, but I make it tangible. That's where the power lies. I am the living embodiment of truth, unstoppable in my journey. The divine kingdom is not merely a subject of discussion, but an entity of immense power. No hindrance, no challenge, no hardship can obstruct the materialization of my dream. I don't merely step outside conventional norms, I shatter them entirely. I close my eyes and project my dream onto the world until everything I envision becomes my reality. Life circumstances align themselves to recognize and accommodate this truth, and I become the living embodiment of this truth. Excellence is my only standard. My genesis is rooted in magnificence. Hence, magnificence resides within me. Nothing about my origin is mediocre or average. Those who cannot comprehend my dreams have no place in my life. Prosperity is drawn to me effortlessly, frequently, and abundantly in the most divine ways. Lack, illness, affliction have no dwelling in me. We were not given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound judgment. Let us all close our eyes, starve the illusions, and nurture our dreams with a fresh stream of ambition. We will reclaim our lives, dominating our days, facing our fears, and rediscovering what it truly means to live. Ignorance, barbarity, confusion, all of these fall from the tree of confusion. Those who remain asleep wander in hardship, while the chosen construct their empires. Yet, who has the courage to overcome their own thinking? Who is brave enough to tread the path of failure? Fresh water will flow from the altar of eternity, for we are the custodians of our destiny. Religion discusses truth, but true enlightenment demonstrates it. A completely awakened believer is not a slave to external circumstances. He is the master. The extent of your awareness of truth dictates the magnitude of power you have over your circumstances. I may not see, I may not hear, I may not know, but still I believe I starve the illusions and feed my dream. I am the embodiment of truth. Your doubts and hate have no impact on me while I am striving and dreaming. You are content with a paycheck. I aim to create a legacy. While you waste your days in idle talk, I labor from sunrise to sunset. I have no fallback plan. Success is my only choice. This isn't a hobby for me. It's as vital as breathing. If I don't do this, I cease to exist. I didn't come to be just another name. I came to be the best there ever was. I am the source of power and I bring this power into every situation. I am not competing for victory. I am playing from a victorious standpoint. The choice is yours to lead a successful life. It all starts with a decision. Then comes commitment. Are you prepared to commit to do whatever it takes to get to where you want to be? And many claim they want success, but they falter when it comes to committing. Oftentimes, it takes hitting rock bottom, feeling utterly frustrated with the status quo, to take the necessary actions to crawl out of the pit. I believe you're ready. I believe that within you lies greatness, and you just need someone to invoke it. I speak greatness over you. The discomfort you feel is because you know you're not being the best version of yourself. This discomfort is trying to nudge you from where you are to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. Now say it with me. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to fully engage in becoming the person I'm meant to be starting right now. All excuses stop now. From this point forward, I will not blame anyone else for my destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. Champions possess habits and daily rituals that breed success. They relentlessly push themselves to the brink of pain. By not surrendering to that pain, they ultimately birth greatness. Pain is no adversary for a true champion. The discomfort of the unknown, the fears that inhibit us all, must be confronted and vanquished alone. The more we pass through the fire, the more refined we become. We must never recoil from trials and tribulations. They shape and fortify us for the forthcoming callings and events. Champions go all in, all the time. It's not just on game day. They understand the process. 
and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best.